everybody, Tutorials by E here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. I'm calling it the four strand braid friendship bracelet because it uses the four strand braid to create it. And the four strand braid gives it a really unique look. It's really not a complicated braid to learn. You just have to remember the two steps and once you get it, it's really easy. So all you're gonna need is some string. I'm gonna be using some embroidery floss and you're probably gonna need four colors for that. And tape or something to attach to the workplace, you know, you can braid it. And scissors. So, let's get started. So to start off, I'm going to take my four favorite summer or spring colors, and I'm going to lay them out. You will probably want, you're gonna need four different colors of string just to make things easier. You could do this all one color, all two, but you're gonna need four main groups of string. So I'm going to take my first color and measure around my wrist so I can see that I want it to end about there. So then I'm going to double that over one time, then two times, and then three times, and then four times. So then we are going to get one more string of that same color and just measure that out and cut that. And that will be our first group of string. Now we're going to do the same thing with the blue, the yellow, and the purple. So now I have all of mine cut out and you can see I have two strands of each type. Now you're going to want to gather them all at the top Go a little ways down and tie a knot. I'm leaving about this much room at the end. Now I'm just gonna tape this up at the top. Okay, now that I have that taped out, I'm going to again separate my string out. So here's strand one, which is pink. I guess blue will be two, yellow will be three, and purple will be four. So you're going to want to start on the right side taking four and you're going to want to go over three and under two. So now the purple one has become, has moved into slot number two and everything has kind of moved down one. So now you're going to want to take the one on the left side and go under the one closest to it and then over the next one. So you're really just gonna keep doing this. Once you get it, it's pretty simple. You're just gonna take the one on the right side and go over and then under, and the one on the left side and go under, under, and then over, like that. So keep going over, under, under, over. And you start to get a really cool pattern. So you're gonna keep doing this until it fits you, but make sure to keep it pretty tight. So over, under. And if you're wondering why I'm pulling on my strings, it's just that they stay untangled. Under, over. It may seem complicated, but really all you have to remember is to go over, under, under, over. And once you get that down, you pretty much got it. So just keep doing this until it fits your wrist and then I'll show you how to tie it off. So now mine is braided so that it can fit my wrist. So you can see just a, what a neat pattern this forms. And it is on both sides. So that's what the four strand ba braid looks like. It would be interesting to experiment and see what happens if you only use two colors or if you use three colors and had more of one color or something like that. But yeah, so that's how I did mine. But anyways, to finish off the bracelet, just hold it where your last braid, I guess, stitch was and tie a knot. And try to get that knot to the end of the braid as close as you can. Okay, and now I'm going to trim off some of this extra. And if you, if you like to tie them onto your wrist, then you can. So what I like to do is I will braid the ends 
and I'll show you how I do that. Get a new piece of tape. So I'll just braid the ends in a normal three strand braid. Now that I've braided down, I think that should be enough, probably a little bit less. That should be enough. I will tie a knot at the end, like so, and just trim off the extra. And I'll do the same exact thing to the other end. And there's that bracelet. So here's this bracelet. It looks really cool and it uses the four strand braid. You can, once you've learned how to do the four strand braid, you can do it on hair and it looks really cool. Or you can use it to just make more bracelets. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and like and comment and I'll be back again next Friday. Bye.